everybody. If you're into role-playing games, then this episode's probably for you. As you know, Final Fantasy XIII, there was a new trailer that came out today. If you go to the Square Enix website for Final Fantasy XIII, or I'm sure on YouTube, you'd be able to find the trailer for it. The difference between this trailer and the other trailers that have come out before is this trailer actually has gameplay footage in it. And uh, it looks really good. I was watching the trailer and I was just thinking to myself, yep, this is another Final Fantasy game. It's going to be really big. Um, it was funny, I was checking some of the forms uh, for people that are into Final Fantasy and I noticed that several of them had uh, uh, kids that were in high school or junior high saying that they stayed home from, they told their parents they were sick so they could watch the trailer, which uh, I thought was kind of kind of strange. Um, some, some of you guys don't know this, but a little while back in Japan, a lot of the schools had been calling and complaining that uh, a lot of their students hadn't been showing up to school on the days that Final Fantasy was being released to the public. Say if there was like Final Fantasy 4 or 5, um, a lot of kids weren't showing up at school because they were there for the game. They were at the, getting the game and then going home and playing it. So uh, for a while in Japan, I don't know if they still have it like this, but for a while Square, Square at the time, maybe even Square Enix, depending on how long they did this, but they had to release Final Fantasy on a day when school wasn't in session. So just a little chirpy there for you, totally useless. But uh, I'm very excited because uh, I know it's already been out for a few months, but Fable 2, the limited edition, is being sent to me from guzex.com, that video game uh, trading site that I use, and uh, very excited for it. It got really good reviews and uh, sold great. A lot of you guys like it. Uh, let me know what you think about that, and. If you have any uh, any uh, reviews, you're going to tell me what you think of the game. Um, the third thing related to role-playing games that I want to talk to you about is, um, as you know, Fallout 3 was a huge success. You know, it came out for the PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360, and the PC. And uh, today, on January 28th, uh, is the day that you can get the expansion called, the first expansion that's available for Fallout 3. It's called Operation Anchorage. Um, unfortunately, you can't get it for the PlayStation 3. I don't know if you're ever going to be able to purchase uh, the expansion for it, but I know that you can get it for games for Windows and for the Xbox 360. And uh, it looks very different. The settings and the scenery looks a lot different than the uh, basic Fallout 3 game. So looks pretty good. Very excited about that. Um, another thing I'd like to talk to you about, um, some of you guys maybe haven't heard of this. It's a fantastic idea and I'm very excited. I'm definitely probably going to get it on day one. It's the Sonic, uh, Sonic's Genesis, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. And uh, this is a game that's going to be coming out, or a collection that's going to be coming out for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. And uh, I've got the list here of some of the games I'm pretty excited about. Beyond Oasis, I don't know if you guys remember that, but Beyond Oasis was a game for the Sega Genesis. It's kind of like an action role-playing game, and the uh, graphics at the time were fantastic, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know how many years ago, but when I lived in San Jose, California, I had the Sega Channel, where you could play games through your cable on your Genesis. And uh, Beyond Oasis was one of the games that you could play, and uh, it was such a great game. And so I'm really excited to get back into that game. Um, game Ground, that's a game that uh, kind of had a top view, similar to Gauntlet, but you were mainly on one map, one screen, and uh, those of you guys who know are familiar with Game Ground, that's a great game. It was, those are one of the game. it's one of the games that was uh, in the arcade, but also came to the Sega Genesis. Uh, actually, I purchased Game Ground as a import. When I had the Sega Genesis, I purchased the Japanese import, and I think they spent with something like 60 bucks. And uh, definitely not worth 60 bucks, but I'll take it in this uh, Ultimate Collection. Of course, you have Fantasy Star 2, 3, and 4. Um, this collection is pretty incredible. I mean, back then, Fantasy Star 4 was like 60 or 70 bucks. Uh, Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3. Vector Man 1 and 2. Those of you guys that remember Vector Man, it's a side-scrolling game. It's a platformer. And uh, I believe Vector Man 2 was one of the last Sega Genesis games to come out. So 
I didn't play the second one. I played the first one for the uh, um, Sega Channel, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, Revenge of Shinobi will not be on this collection, it looks like, but Shinobi 3 will be on it, and uh, that's actually a pretty decent action game. Another game that many of you guys are not familiar with is a game called ESWAT. And uh, if I play it again, I'm probably going to think it's one of the worst games ever, but back then when it came out, I actually borrowed it from a friend and was able to beat it, and uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, and then finally, the, the uh, other games that I'm really excited for, Golden Axe 1 through 3. I only played Golden Axe 1. Something tells me Golden Axe 2 and 3 were awful, but definitely worth playing. So uh, any of you guys that have uh, pre-ordered that game, please let me know. I think you'll be able to uh, unlock the achievements and uh, trophies for the uh, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Oh, the next video, one of the next videos that I'm going to do is going to be a collection of Xbox 360 games. In this single video, I'm probably going to put about 115, 125 Xbox 360 games, and I'll all have it in one video. And uh, a lot of you guys that are going to watch, you're probably going to cry foul and say that how certain games are not in there that should be in there. And so basically I'm telling you in advance, if you do by chance happen to see a game that's not in there that you definitely that you think should be in there, um, feel free to make a video of your own and post a response for this video and I'll approve it so it'll be available for other users to check out. So just in advance, just to tell you, I mean there's something like five, six, I don't even know how many hundreds, five or six hundred, you know, games for the Xbox 360 there is. So for this particular video, there's going to be about 120. And uh, that's about it for this, for this episode. If you have any comments or questions, please send them my way. I really appreciate all of your guys' support. And it uh, looks like February is going to be a fantastic month. I'll probably do a video on some of the big releases that are coming out for February. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time.